Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and Unreal Engine developers, you know what that means. It is time for Unreal Christmas in... December? Okay, that one doesn't make a lot of sense this month. Uh, but the first Tuesday of every month, Unreal Engine uh, developers get five free assets from uh, Epic Games, uh, as well as one addition to the permanently free collection. And we're just going to jump in, take a look at what this month's items are. Now, do remember, you have to, air quotes, buy these items before the first Tuesday of next month. Uh, but if you do, for $0, they are then yours to keep forever. So even if you are not an Unreal Engine user, you probably want to start hoarding these things, uh, just so you have a huge library of assets if you ever switch over. So this this one is the uh, modular gothic temple pack. Uh, it is everything you see here. Uh, so we got like some mist effects going on. Uh, we got some crosses going on there. We got all the, the things to make this uh, environment right here. This obviously is where the modular comes from. So you could use various different pieces of this to build um, your environment. Let's go take a look at the overview of this pack. So switch over to the overview map and you get an idea of exactly what you are getting in this one. So uh, we've got the mountains in the background. We've got a variety of different um, nature items. So grasses, brushes, leaves, twigs, and branches. We have uh, the assets in the temple itself, such as this uh, brazier holder, I think that would be. Uh, we've got some old Gothic crosses. We've got some cl cliffs and rocks in the background, the altar and the bricks that go together. We've got some graves, hanging snow, all the various different modular pieces that went together to create the temple itself. Uh, we got all of the various different shaders that are in this environment. We got some trees and snow piles in the background there. We got some particle effects, including fire, smoke, uh, fog, and god rays. And then we got some grunge decals as well. So that is the modular Gothic temple pack. Next up, we have the Hospitality Pack, which I got to say is a bit of a strange name. Uh, it's basically a, a restaurant or environment pack like so. Uh, one thing I have noticed, I'm demonstrating these things in uh, Unreal Engine 5.1, and it seems like for some reason the default lighting is quite a bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this light, for example. We're going to crank up the intensity. You're going to see what I mean. So uh, the, the sample environments for a couple of these things in 5.1 are quite dark. I'm, I'm not really sure why that is the case, but... Uh, this one is an environment for creating uh, restaurants. Uh, I don't really get why they would call it the hospitality pack per se. Again, it's very, very dark. Let's see if we can grab another light here. Turn it up. So, ah, it doesn't really matter. You get an idea. I'll show you the overview assets in just a second. So we got uh, the various different pieces going on here, including some burners overhead. Uh, we've got uh, kind of an upstairs area. So everything you see to create this environment. Let's go ahead and check out the overview on that one. And we won't save my light changes. All right, so here are all of the various different pieces that went together to create it. Even this one has a fairly dark lighting. Uh, so you see here we've got the banisters. We've got various different things for the bathroom itself, down to and including toilet paper and a toilet paper roll. Uh, we've got uh, chairs. We've got various different doors for the environment, counter equipment, uh, telling signs to navigate around the space. We've got various different flowers. we got all the kitchen stuff. Uh, and so on and so forth. So we even got a number of different uh, disposal bins, some couches and chairs, very versatile assets if you're creating a real world environment. Uh, but this one's specifically for, you know, uh, convention hall, kitchen, restaurant type environments. And so that is the uh, hospitality pack. Next, we have the stylized truck pack. Unfortunately, it's not a really great demonstration because for some reason, the uh, blueprints actually have uh, compiler issues. I don't know if it's... Uh, a 5-1 detail, um, but this one is, let's see if we got something in the overview pack. Um, it's a couple of different stylized trucks, different effects going on there, and then the blueprints to control them. So go down on here, let's go check out the blueprint section, and we'll get an idea. So we got uh, chaos truck physics going on, we got different color trucks. So yeah, this pack is, there's an example. We have uh, these... Uh, blueprints here but again we do seem to have some problems with this particular pack uh, so not the best demonstration i'll show you this one in the the web page in just a second because uh, again this one doesn't demo extremely well uh, but that is the stylized truck pack uh, next we have another stylized pack this one is the stylized nature pack again it's a little bit on the darker side so i don't know if a lumen change has caused these to uh, demo a little bit darker but as you see it is for uh, stylized natural environment, so not exactly a uh, hyper real style going on here. Let's go jump over to the overview of that one, get an idea of the kind of assets included here. So this is the stylized nature environment. Uh, so what we got here, we've got 
a variety of different rocks going on, uh, some water environment, more rocks, uh, some clouds in the background, and then we've got uh, a number of different uh, colorful trees. We've got some patches of sort of painterly grass with flowers. And yeah, that's about the extent of the stylized nature pack. Next up, we have Platformer Stylized Cube World of Volume 1. Uh, this one is for creating like platformer style. Think of it kind of like if you extruded Mario into 3D, which of course Mario obviously has been extruded into 3D, uh, but it's a kind of a cubified platforming world environment. Uh, you can see going on here, um, it's got a nice low poly stylized art environment going on. It seems to be the theme of this particular choice. So you got various different um, you know keys and things in the world. Uh, stars. So again, if you're trying to create a 3D platformer, uh, that seems to be what this pack is all about. Let's go check out if there is an overview. Yeah, here's the overview map. Let's open up the overview map, take a look at what we were getting in this one. Did you load? I think it's loading. All right, there we go. So here are all the various different um, atoms in this pack. So we got jump platforms, uh, fences, spikes, Pretty much everything you need if you're trying to create, again, a platformer style game, cube based. So there's the various different building blocks for your level. Uh, we got some very white ones in the background here. So we got some water tiles going on in the background. So that there is the platformer stylized Cube World Volume 1 pack. And that is it for this month's uh, free for the month collection. Again, uh, you buy them, add them to your cart, check out, and they are yours forever. Uh, we also have one addition to the permanently free collection, so no time limit on picking this one up. And this one here is the hand-painted environment. Uh, it's everything you see here. It's kind of like this village environment, uh, various different pieces going on. Again, with kind of a hand-painted style. I think we've had a couple of these hand-painted packs in the past in the permanently free. Uh, th this one feels very familiar to me. Uh, but at this point in time, I've covered a heck of a lot of assets on this channel. But everything you see here, one thing you're noticing right now, this is uh, the winter version of the map. Uh, if you go in and check out the map environments here, you'll also find that there are um, summer scenes as well. And then again, there's an overview. So let's go check out the items that go ahead and make up the hand-painted environment map uh, pack. So we've got here uh, various different pieces here, railroad, railroad cart, um, got some bit of a tower going on there. Uh, all the various different pieces of the village, again, in that nice hand-painted style. And then with various different forest pieces, we've got some, we got an anvil and a hammer here. We've got some chests and uh, stall and carts for your village, some fence posts, some trees, and so on. Uh, so again, very beautiful art style, uh, in my opinion. I think it's, it's kind of got a bit of that... Uh, Warcraft 3 vibe to me. Uh, but and anyways, that's my opinion on this one. So that is this month's asset. So again, quick overview, free for the month. We've got the modular Gothic temple, uh, medieval slash winter slash snow pack for creating uh, temple environments. Uh, we have the hospitality pack, which is for, uh, again, restaurants, industrial kitchens, and so on, all the various different assets you need to create that. We have the stylized truck pack, which doesn't play well with Unreal Engine 5.1, um, even though it says it's supported. So I, I have a feeling that that is just currently broken. Uh, but this one contains drivable stylized truck, uh, and then the different things you can change in the back. So gasoline tank, box truck, and uh, trunk truck options. Uh, again, it does have all the controls there you need for actually driving it, which is actually kind of nice. Unfortunately, the blue one doesn't work right now, which is a little bit less nice. So stylized truck pack. Then we got stylized dynamic nature, a uh, vibrant set of stylized trees, rocks, grass, plants, water, and 3D clouds. Uh, and then finally, under the free for the month category, we have the stylized cube world. So if you're, again, trying to create a 3D platforming environment, very interesting art style, um, and it's all the pieces you need to create uh, that kind of environment. And then in the permanently free collection, we have the hand-painted environment, which again is really ringing a bell, like super familiar to me. So I don't know if we've already had something from this author uh, in the background you know, or in the past, or if this has been in a bundle or something in the past. If you know why this is like scratching such a familiar itch to me, please let me know in the comments down below. So if you want to go ahead and grab this stuff, uh, you just basically go into the free category and go free for the month. And then you'll get the list of all of the various different assets are here. You literally just add them to your cart and check out and you are good to go. Or you go here free and the permanently free collection. And you're going to find this is a massive growing collection of uh, free assets. There's a, there's a lot of them. So we're up to uh, 
103 in this pack. That that's actually seems low to me. I thought there was even more than that. And they also got free stuff in other categories as well. So that is this month's uh, Unreal Engine Epic Giveaway. Uh, let me know what you think of the contents this month, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.